616 on our Saturday evening, a gorgeous Saturday back here in central Indiana. We saw plenty of people taking advantage of the forecast on the canal walk, taking walks and on the swan pedal boats. And Matt says tomorrow might even be better. We I could know. Maybe. Yeah, can you talk today? I know today was wonderful. Yeah, we could keep today just on and forever. Mm -hmm. You know, it wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Yeah, uh, we normally get our first 80 degree reading in late April, but we could do it here in mid April starting tomorrow. Earlier. We'll have to see. Oh, it's yeah, be this weekend has been picture perfect. It has been, especially after those just the past week that we had uh, Gina with all the clouds and the rain and the storms and all the flooding we've had too. We need a chance to dry out. Woke up this morning to the hum of lawn mowers, but good luck because it's kind of muddy all across central Indiana. Let's talk about what's coming next. We've got high pressure in place. In fact, that high pressure is going to squeeze just a little bit farther north, getting closer to the Ohio River to help increase that south wind. That south wind could be gusting near 25 to 30 miles per hour tomorrow. That's what's going to help us get close to 80 degrees in the afternoon, at least upper 70s. But later in the day tomorrow, we are watching this quick front that's passing close to the US Canadian border. This the heart of the storm system is probably going to go more towards Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York with some severe weather chances, but we're going to be on the tail end of this front. We'll get a couple extra clouds and maybe an isolated shower thunderstorm. I'll let you know who has the best chance in just a moment. And then we dry out for a couple days before another storm hits us sometime Tuesday, Wednesday. That one bringing more rain and thunderstorm chances, but at least this evening we don't have to worry about a thing. Lots of 60s out there. We don't follow the 50s until 11 o'clock tonight. Here's tomorrow morning. Once we get to the 50s, we're going to stay there because that south wind's picking up overnight tonight. We'll end up somewhere in the mid 50s all across central Indiana. Mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy in the afternoon. Didn't have a cloud today. We'll have a couple clouds tomorrow, but we'll still have lots of sun. Highs getting right next to 80 degrees, especially if you live just south and west of Indianapolis. Really nice Sunday for you. But as that front we were talking about just to our north slides in later in the evening, it will produce the chance for an isolated shower or storm, but the best chances will be east of Indianapolis and really mostly south of Richmond, kind of there towards Lake uh, Brookville Lake and headed towards Cincinnati. I want to show you what I'm talking about on future cast for tomorrow morning. We'll wake up. If you're headed to breakfast with your family, headed to a church service, nice quiet start in the morning. We kind of be partly cloudy. We'll have passing clouds on and off throughout the day, but by two, three o'clock, a lot of us getting close to 80 degrees. But if you notice, it's kind of behind the banner here. There's a cold front sneaking through just to our north. And as it comes south, it's going to help spark a chance for an isolated shower here or there across central Indiana. I think the vast majority of us will stay dry. But getting closer to sunset, that front sits close to I-70 and could pop a few thunderstorms and downpours, mainly in eastern Indiana. So we'll watch towards Abington, Union County, towards Connersville, Centerville, Richmond area, maybe just east of Shelbyville. You get west of Indianapolis, you're probably going to be okay. But overall, best chances east of Indy tomorrow evening. Just a quick splash and dash, then it's all gone. Well, then what's next? Well, we just continue to get warmer. We got nice weather going into next week, but by Tuesday, Wednesday next week, a lot of systems start headed on through a uh, good amount of rainfall too. maybe some severe storms as well. You're looking at that power cold front bringing probably our first wave of thunderstorms sometimes Tuesday, Tuesday night and into Wednesday, maybe another inch or so. We'll have to see across central Indiana exactly how much we get, but a good dose of water back on the way. So enjoy the nice weather the next couple of days. Gina, when we're talking about that storm chance tomorrow, only a few of us will get one. We have still nice weather Monday and then a big storm Tuesday, Wednesday.